Hey guys, everything new under the sun? Well, I was out for basically two weeks where I couldn't make any videos and uh, uh, I kind of missed the whole reporting cycle, if you will, on uh, Hurricane Florence. Um, it's caused, caused a lot of damage. Um, one video I did do uh, back before it hit land, though, is uh, talking about the, the nuclear power plants and the power plants in general um, on the coast um, that it could damage and uh, Indeed, it came out that uh, um, the Duke power plant now is one of them, uh, where actually it's it's a coal power plant apparently, and there's actually ash flowing out into the river because uh, of the flooding. Duke Energy says dam breached at North Carolina plant, and coal ash may be flowing into Cape Fear River. Now you know the Book of Revelation talks about the um, the rivers and the seas becoming poisoned to man, and and you got to think that uh, events like these are uh, just kind of all kind of birth pains adding up um, to that eventual thing. Now this single um, disaster isn't going to be that a fulfillment of that, um, but you see the waters um, getting poisoned more and more each day. Um, and as birth pains occur, uh, you know, they, they increase in frequency and intensity, and uh, we're going to see more poisoning of the water, uh, less and less fresh water, etc., uh, as, we, as we get closer to uh, the tribulation period. And again, you look at these things and you look at what God has done in the past um, to bring about judgment on nations. And uh, he has uh, uh, used natural uh, natural causes, natural things like hurricanes um, to fulfill his purposes. Well, the detail on this is that the floodwaters flowed from Cape Fear River into the northern side of Sutton Lake, 1,100-acre reservoir built in 72 to cool the LV Sutton Power Station. That, was, uh, that water caused breaches in the dam on the south end of the lake which was flowing back into the river. They said the 200-mile Cape Fear River flows into the Atlantic at Wilmington, North Carolina. On the Sutton site was in Wilmington, was home to a coal fire plant until 2013 when Duke replaced it with natural uh, gas power. Duke dismantled the coal, coal fire plant in 20, 2017, but the ground uh, contained about 7 million tons of coal ash. And, you know, we have no idea what this is going to do with the wildlife, um, in terms of uh, you know poisoning the water, etc. Um, so this is incredible, a uh, disaster. The flooding forced Duke to shut down the 625 megawatt natural gas plant, and the company is monitoring um, the ash pits. Um, it goes on to say here, coal ash is a byproduct of uh, produced primarily at coal-fired plants. It contains contaminants, human to harmful health including mercury, cadmium, and arsenic. Those are three huge players in the poisoning of humans. Heavy rain from Florence caused one of the coal ash landfills to um, partially collapse, Duke reported Saturday. So this is very recent news. So the flooding is still ongoing from uh, Hurricane Florence. This is basically the aftermath. The second, the second article I want to look at is, When will it end Florence's floodwaters rising? in the Carolinas. So you have all the um, uh, the runoffs, um, the the water deltas, um, and the water is still running down and, and flooding people, uh, flooding areas. It says, with r muddy river water still washing over entire communities, eight days after Florence slammed into the land, uh, with nearly three feet of rain, new evacuation orders forced residents to flee to higher ground. I mean, sprawling uh, disaster that's beginning to feel like it will never end. It goes on, at least 43 people have died. An elderly man whose body was found submerged in a pickup in South Carolina and hundreds were forced from their homes. So there's still evacuations going on. Incredible stuff. Um, I need to catch up on where the peace plan is and where all this stuff is. Um, you know, does it play into it? Is there any prophetic significance to the uh, Florent hurricane? I haven't heard anybody really come out and say anything yet. Um, and, you know, it could just be a natural disaster. But we certainly know that God uses natural disasters to comp fulfill his purpose uh, many times in modern days and in biblical times. So it's something to watch out for. It's something to, uh, it's something that should uh, perk up our attention and say, you know what, are we following God like we should be? Are we praying enough? And certainly I'm not praying enough. Um, are our hearts right? Is our nation right with God? And certainly um, North America, in North America, it is not. Um, Canada, for example, is uh, the government, the liberal government, uh, you know, anti-Semitic.
um, in, in in many ways, um, and they're not supporting Israel, and we are uh, <clears throat> we are to love the Jews, um, and uh, the U.S. Um, you know their their heart is overall far from uh, God, and so <clears throat> we have a ways to go before God will you know relent and, and put the hand of blessing back on North America, and I don't think it's going to be back on it anytime soon. I think shortly. Uh, North America is taken out from being any sort of world-leading power in terms of uh, the United States. So, two interesting articles. Hurricane Florence is still going strong, causing damage, causing evacuations, causing deaths. Um, and these are big things to happen in, the, in, the, in these last days. We know that the sea and the waves will be roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon them. And certainly, um, these are scary times for the people who are in the path of, hurricane, of these hurricanes. I noticed BP Earth Watch um, did a video, and there's a few more storms brewing in the in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, so we may have uh, some big ones yet to come. So stay tuned, guys. This is uh, this is gearing up. This is not letting off. And, uh, we are rolling headlong into uh, the last days. I believe we're less than two years out now from the start of the seven tribulation, which means we need the revealing of uh, the Antichrist. Which means we need the revealing of the false prophet lately. Which means. We need a good peace plan on the table, ready to go. Um, and all these things are, I think, if you watch my last video about the Pope, um, all these things, uh, you know, there's there's good candidates in place. There's good setup and good staging um, that could very well completely fulfill Bible prophecy at any moment now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.